Hello. Today I am going to solve this problem. Code forces round 856 dip to C. Scoring subsequences. Okay. So first of all, what is our input? That input is uh, there are number of test cases T, then one integer n, then uh, n integers. Okay. So first I will take the input. Test cases is yeah. What is our output? Output will also be an array. Let's see the question. What is our question? Mm. So the question is given that uh, the score of a sequence. Suppose S1, S2, S3 is a sequence. Okay. Then uh, uh, the score of the sequence is this. Okay. Multiplication of all the elements divided by size of the sequence factorial okay factorial of size of sequence mm. so what is our sequence for a sequence what is our sequence it is given here okay i am uh, reading it line by line for a sequence s1 s2 up to sd let m be the maximum score among all its subsequences that means uh, for a sequence, suppose this is a sequence, so m be the maximum score among all of its subsequence. So this sequence has lots of uh, its subsequences, right? Uh, so all of among all of its sub subsequences, m is the maximum score. Its uh, its cost is defined as the maximum length of the subsequent. So m is the maximum score. And the cost is defined as the maximum length of the subsequence with a score m. So there are lots of uh, subsequence will be, we can create from uh, the a sequence, right? Uh, they have uh, different uh, different answers. Suppose m is the uh, m is the maximum score, and uh, m may be the score of uh, a, a two or more uh, subsequences, right? So among those subsequences who have score m out of them i have to choose the maximum one and its length will be our cost right so uh, you are given a non decreasing sequence a1 a2 so i have uh, given a array right one a1 a2 up to a n n integers so this is in the uh, con this this is in uh, sorted manner right Okay, uh, the array is already sorted. For each k equals to what is k? K is the uh, size of the se sequence, right? Hmm. For each k is given, then find the cost of the sequence a1, a2 up to a k, right? So in case of k1, I have to find the length among only a1 then a1 a2 then a1 a2 a3 for k equals to 3 like this right so i am just uh, breaking down the question from here okay so what is given that i am so this is my question okay so for k equals to 1 what i will take i will i can take only our sequence will be 1 so out of this how many subsequences can be possible or how many subsequence can we uh, take only one right only one and uh, m only the subsequences one and the empty sequence of the only solution for this 
right? So then what is what will be its cost? So m is one here, right? So uh, and what will be my maximum? So the where is the cost? So uh, its cost, right? Its cost is defined the maximum length of subsequent. So in case of this, one is my maximum length of the subsequent. In case of two, there are also uh, how many elements are present here? One and two, right? The only subsequent so its score is uh, two. Only two is this score two is okay. okay. Maximum score, right? So out of one and two, hmm, I I can create uh, I can create how many subsequences? Can empty subsequences one and two like this? Uh, only two like this. So uh, what I can you use here that my array is sorted right. So if I want to find the maximum uh, maximum score. Uh, from where I have to, I should traverse. I should traverse from last, right? Uh, I I can take two, two divided by one. Then what I should take? I should take one divided by two, right? Because uh, in case of uh, I, if I pick only two, what will be my score? Two by one, right? If I pick both of them, what will be my answer? Two into one, right? Two into one divided by uh, divided by 1 into 2, right? 2 factorial. So, in this manner, we can check. So, uh, what I can use here that as, uh, as my array is sorted, so I will pick elements from the last because it gives me, it can give me the highest m possible, right? Maximum m possible. So, I first I pick 2. If I pick only 2, then what I have to divide only one, right? Then I will check for the one, right? I am checking for the one. Okay. Uh, one divided by uh, what I have to take. Uh, one I have already taken, so I have to take two, right? But one by two, you know, what is it is doing that it is decreasing our maximum value, right? So we uh, could not do that, right? I have to stop here, right? So what will be my answer? I, I can take only one element for my maximum end, right? For k equals to three, how many? Uh, what is my uh, sequence? One, two, and three. And I will take the uh, subsequence in which manner? From last, right? So for if I take only one element, what will be my uh, score? Three by one, right? If I take, I, I have taken three, right? Yeah, then I am checking if I can take two or not. Hmm. Uh, when I will take two, if I, uh, uh, when I will not take two, if this decreasing my uh, M value, right? My score. So uh, if I take two, what I should multiply two by two, right? Because uh, there are two elements. So two factorial. So if I take uh, one, what I have to multiply one by three, right? One, two, three, three factorial in the denominator, right? But uh, what this will do? This will decrease my score, right? So I will not take this. So in case of this, my answer will be what two, right? Yeah, in this way, I can solve the problem, right? I am taking one uh, another example. Uh, another example. Suppose there is five and uh, some elements are one, two, 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 three, four. Uh, there are six elements. Right? Okay, no problem. Six. So I I will do in the similar manner that I will take k equals to one and check. For k equals to one, I have only one element one, and the maximum score will also be one. So I have to take one element, right? K equals to two. What will be my elements? My elements will be one and two. So first, why, what I have to take? I have to take uh, two divided by one, right? Two by one factorial. 
then uh, one by two, right? But one by two is dec uh, is decreasing my uh, score, right? So I will not take this. So one thing you should not, uh, you must notice that if one element is decreasing, that means all of his previous elements also will decrease my score because this array is sorted and gradually I increase if I if I increase my size the denominator will also increase right so if I have to stop here if this is not suppose in case of this uh, I will show it later okay so uh, what I what will be the answer here that I have taken two and one I cannot take. So my answer here, my cost here will be also one. In case of k equals to three, uh, my sequence will be one, two, two, right? So two by one, right? Multiplied by two by two. Two by two I can take, right? Because two by two is one. So any, if the, uh, so I will increase uh, this value one by one and I will check if the ith index is ith index is uh, greater than equals to this or not if I ith element is greater than equals to this count that means I can uh, add this element in my subsequence right so in case of one if I going to take one that will decrease my that will decrease my uh, score right so I will not take this so I will uh, in for maximum I can take these two elements right so my answer will be two my sorry my cost will be two in case of uh, k equals to four in case of k equals to four I have to I have the sequence this right one two 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 right also what will be my uh, 2 by 1 if I take this element then I will go for this uh, for the second last element uh, yeah I can take this then what I have to do that I have to traverse to this this element right 2 divided by what 2 divided by 1 2 3 because in the denominator it is uh, uh, factorial right if, uh, in uh, sorry uh, the factorial of the size of the subsequent okay that's why i am gradually increasing this so this this will decrease my score so i will not take this and so it will be two here also in case of five in case of five uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, right? So, that will be uh, 3 by 1, multiplied by 2 by 2, multiplied by 2 by 3. It is also, I will not take, here you can see that, if 2, these 2, 3, 2, and this two this two is not this uh, i cannot take this two because it is decreasing if this two is uh, if this two i can i cannot take that means all of his previous elements also i cannot take because all of his previous elements is what is either equal or smaller than two right so in case of what uh, in case of this my answer will also two Right, in case of uh, k equals 6, my answer will be, my cost will be, what, let's calculate, 2, 3, 4, uh, 4 divided by, 4 divided by 1, multiplied by, 3 divided by 2, multiplied by, 2 divided by 3, so 2 divided by 3, I cannot take, right, I will stop here. Okay, so what you can see that if I traverse uh, k equals to uh, 1 to k equals to uh, n, what I have to take? 
I have to check uh, for every uh, last element of my sequence, right? I have to traverse like this, 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 right? In worst case situation, if I take uh, this approach, what will be my time complexity? My time complexity will be so k is what k is for uh, from one to uh, one to n, right? So for k n multiplied by what I what I have to uh, traverse for each sequence, right? I have to in the worst case situation, all elements will be very big, maybe very big. So I have to traverse all the elements, right? So in case of worst case situation, my uh, time proxy will be big of n square. If I follow this approach, hmm, okay. But I cannot take this because the test case, sorry, ah, yes, yes, for uh, that the sum of n overall test cases, okay. So this is, you can th think that uh, this is my maximum possible possibility. So 10 power 10 is not possible. Okay, so I have to think differently. Then uh, what I can see here that if I go from k equals to 6 to uh, smaller case, right? So first of all, I have what? I have this elements, right? This elements what? One, the whole array, right? What I am doing here that I have to do 4 divided by 1, right? Multiplied by uh, 3 divided by 2, multiplied by uh, 2, I cannot take. So this is my approach, right? So if I go to upper one, what I, I can do that I have to remove this four, right? So what I, I will have left with uh, three by two, right? But, 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 but there is not, there is, uh, there are how many elements are there? There are one elements, right? So why I am taking two, right? So if I have, uh, if I want to, add another elements uh, in this uh, support uh, i will uh, so this will be not understandable so suppose this multiplication is x right in case of upper one what i have to do that i cannot take four right so x divided by four okay this this is my what this is not my maximum score right so what will be my maximum score maximum score will be this multiplied by what i can do what i am doing that i am removing four so what i can do that i don't need these two if i keep one element there are two elements right for these two elements i have to do uh, two factorial but here uh, as i am removing four so i if i don't take another elements I don't need a two, right? So I can take a maximum of two. That means I can multiply this by two. Otherwise, I what I can do that I can take another element, uh, another element which I, I have not taken previously. So in my previous sequence, what I have taken that I have taken four and three, right? So uh, what I have not taken the these two. What maximum element I have not taken? This is 2. So what I can do? That I can multiply it by 2, right? I can take another element or don't take any element. Only multiply it by 2 because 2 was extra or, or else what I can do? That I can take another 2 from my sequence. So what is my motto? If, uh, if uh, in case of this, what happens that uh, 2 equals to 2 that means uh, both operations are both operations gives you uh, maximum score so in case of maximum score what i have to do in case of maximum score i have to take the bigger sequence right so what will make me make this sequence bigger to take another element right so i have three so i will take two right so my new sequence i am writing this uh, such that it is more understandable so I have sequence like this previously, I am copying this, right? So what I can do, I can, uh, uh, th this I have, sorry, this 
I have lost this, right? Only 3 by 2 is left, right? So what I can do? What I can multiply? I can multiply it by 2 by 1, right? Why 2 by 1? Because there is uh, there is uh, two elements. I am I have already divided it by two previously. That's why I am taking only one, right? So whether I can multiply it by two, that means taking one previous element. Otherwise, multiplied it its uh, size, right? Because its size is decreasing by one. If I I am not taking any element, right? So in this manner. What happens that I can uh, I can cancel one of the traversing that I am repeating, right? If I traverse from k equals to 1 to n, I have to repeat it in every k, right? But in case of error, I am just replacing. I have this, so I am just deleting this, and then I have two choices. Either I keep one element or I, I can take one element extra from my sequence to increase my sequence right so uh, which will give me the better score or uh, and better size i will take this right so what will be my approach first of all uh, this will be my index uh, in case of k equals to 6 i i have to take maximum element i have i can take right so my index will be uh, initialized with n minus 1 and what i will uh, go that I will take that how many elements I can I what I will uh, calculate that how many element I can take right so while index is greater than equals to zero uh, right why there is oh okay, okay so I will commenting this later so in case of index greater than equals to zero uh, if no, or one condition also this is factorial right derivative is factorial so to maintain factorial I have to count that how many elements I have taken right so um, if index greater than equals to 0 and uh, array of index array of index is greater than equals uh, C. greater than equal c will be not there because c will increase so i will take if i take one element that means i have to increase c also right so if this will uh, this satisfies like like here 4 by 1 for uh, a, a of index is 4 and c plus 1 is 1 right so this is satisfying so i can take this so my my answer will answer for k equals to 6 will increase and my index will be decreased right this is fine after that so what uh, in which point i have reached my index is reached as uh, the last index i have not taken right and what is c c is the size of the uh, subsequence i can make for k equals to 6 so right so now i have to Mm, I can create a vector or not. I can calculate also in the for loop. So in which manner I have to traverse? I, I have to traverse to uh, I have to traverse from k equals to 6 to k equals to 1, right? So int k equals uh, k equals what? k equals n minus uh, let me check how k is defined here is 1 to n right k equals to n to k greater than equals to 1 right okay and k will decrease so in so i am entering here i have already my answer in c right so i have to print c uh, answer is with a space right so i'm printing my answer for k equals to no 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 the answer is okay okay i have to maintain a vector also uh, vector in uh, result of size n right so result of 
is k minus 1 because of this indexing right so in case of vector the indexing starts from 0 to uh, n minus 1 that's why so this is result k equals k minus 1 equals to c then i have to do my operation to calculate for k equals to n minus 1 right so to do this what i have to do that i have to um, remove one element right so i have to remove one element okay i have removed one element then what i have to check i have to check with this size then if i if i suppose 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 i have four elements here right my index idx is here right in this two so what i will check then in case of this i can multiply it is uh, not uh, this i have to create another example for this suppose a subsequence is like this for for uh, two four 4 by 1, 4 by 2, 4 by 3, 4 by 4, right? Suppose this is my sequence. So in case of next step, I can remove 1, 4, and then when I, I, I have to check that I can multiply it by 4, right? I can multiply it by 4, right? Why 4? Because uh, my size was 4, right? Uh, So what will be my score? 4 into 4 into 4 divided by 1 into 2 into 3 into 4. If I remove one element, why what I have to do? That I have to multiply this by either this by 4, right? Suppose this 4 is not present. I'm, I have removed this 4. So uh, to check my score, what I can do that I can uh, I can allow to to enter so I have not checked uh, I have not uh, I don't have to edit my denominator if I don't want to add to what I have to do that I have to remove 4 from the denominator also how I can remove 4 from the denominator I will simply multiply it by size of the uh, sequence right that's why i am doing this okay so let's see the code that will be more under understanding so uh, result k minus 1 equals to c okay then i will check check if i have to check if index is uh, exist or not uh, if some some magic uh, some in some cases what happens that index uh, these elements are too big that index already reaches to the uh, first element then i will not do anything so if my index is greater than equals to zero and and a of index is greater than equals to c that means equal or greater than equals to c that means i will add a of index right so in so if i f add a of index i have to increase my c right so my c will increase so sorry 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 why c will increase i already removed one element so c will not increase i will decrease my index only okay but in this thing this thing will not happen what i have to do that I have to remove, I am removing one element but don't adding any other element. So what will what will I have to do? I have to multiply the score with C and decrease my C because I am decreasing the size of the subsequent. Right? So then C will uh, decrease. I think this is fine. Now I will print my result.
also I have to comment this. So this is the result. Let's check with the given test cases. One one two one 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 two two three four five. I have already solved it. I'm just explaining how I have solved. So that's for today. Like, share, subscribe.